All right, let's have a look at this plight. This is ILS runway 24 into Panama, dated 15th of October. Final, uh, let's see, localizer is 108.7. If I had the strength to identify it, let me see if I can guess where the nav one button is. ridiculously quiet, but I did hear it. Done. Okay, that's the localizer. Final approach course 245. Set. Landing distance. Don't know or care about. The approach table doesn't apply. To the straight nine, last runway 24 for an operative Malza, do that. Category AV variable, yep. Yeah. Autopilot couple approach, not authorized. Helicopter visibility redu reduction below RVR 4000, not authorized. That's okay, we're not going to need that anyway. There's a Malza missed approach, climbing 3000, heading 245, the ocean side vortex. Okay. Um, let's see if we can set that up. Should be clear of the Ramona Delta to the west here, but. I want 115.3 in my standby. Oh, this moving target thing is getting a little bit old. There we go. Alright, we're set up for the ocean side. Missed. So you can turn on 245 to the ocean side 145 radial. Side, right, that's good. Panama Tower frequency is set. So, Gal Approach already talking to the weather we have, ground we don't need right now. Number 132 Kill Tango Palomar Airport, weather automated 0205 Zulu. Uh, visibility unrestricted, seating 1000 overcast, temperature 22 of D.20, altimeter 290. Okay, thanks. Yeah, we're not quite seeing that weather here yet, but it is dropping a little bit. If we need to pick up a clearance, we'll let you know. Helicopter 2 Kill Tango. Number 2 Kill Tango. I'd like to be able to reduce my engine noise. Uh, I've never actually done that in the Dreamfoil. Normally I run the sound elsewhere. Let me check something for you. Uh, oh, okay. Interior master. That should do it. Much better. Thanks. VFR for now. Altitude's okay. Plummeting a little bit there. And there's the weather update. Okay. Alright, let's climb back up. Approach helicopter 2 Gotango. The weather update just happened. We're now uh, in IMC. I'd like to pick up a clearance. So actually, vectors for the ILS runway 24. We are briefed and set up for that approach at Palomar. Number 2 Kilo Tango, so Cal Approach Roger, able to maintain train in. Uh, obstruction clearance, senior present altitude in 3,500 feet. We are helicopters to Kiltango. Number 132, Kiltango, Roger, cleared to Palomar Airport via radar vectors direct, maintain 3,500. Okay, radar vectors direct up to 3.5, helicopters to Kiltango. Yeah, I know there was no terrain to hit right there. Okay. Number 132, Kiltango, read back direct, gliding 300. Maintain 3,500 and just uh, confirm you are able to maintain your own turn and obstruction clearance on that heading. Heading 300 up to 3,500 and we can do that. Helicopter 2 Kill Tango. Number 2 Kill Tango, thanks. This vector will take you through the localizer. Expect ILS from my 2 4 approach. 2 Kill Tango. Okay, we're going through the localizer now. Okay, let's get the power up to max continuous here for our climb. This is unbelievably hard, flying the helicopter at IMC. This is nothing like flying fixed wing. Holy cow. I always wondered what the big deal was when I heard helicopter pilots talk about going into inadvertent IMC. Well, I get it now. Because the thing is so hard to trim, this is in fact, I think, why you're not allowed to go into IFR in a helicopter without an autopilot, 
present has to have it. I'm not sure if you have to use it, but I know it has to be equipped with one. I remember hearing that. Alright, it looks like we're on top of a layer here of 3500. Approach 2 Kill Tango looks like the tops are about 3300 here. Number 2 Kill Tango, thank you. Alright, 300 is the heading we're looking for. Alright, so it's sending us through localizer. Number 2 Kill Tango, turn right at 060. Right over our correction vector to final. Heading 060, and sorry, verify it. Was it 3500 was the assigned? Uh, that's correct. Alright, sorry about that. Back down to 3.5, 2 Kill Tango. Right, 060 and 3.5. Don't know why I was thinking 4. November 2, Kilo Tango, traffic 12, 1 o'clock, 4 miles opposite direction, altitude 3,300, climbing type on. Negative contact, helicopter 2 Kilo Tango. Actually, traffic inside 2 Kilo Tango. Right down there. Terrible altitude holding, can't even look away. Alright, let's make a serious effort to get this trimmed. Okay, let's get the power back to where it needs to be. This is very interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Getting a huge visual illusion right now that we are descending like crazy. holding a good amount of right cyclic and forward cyclic, so I'm going to trim that out. Okay, now a VMC here, but I'm not going to count on that lasting very long. Interesting sloped layer right there. Number 2 Kilo Tango, turn right heading 150. Heading 150, helicopter 2 Kilo Tango. Turn coordinator. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna reset the view to include that. Okay, 150 heading, 3,500. Great. November 132 Kilo Tango is 3 miles from Escon, turn right heading 210, maintain 3500 until established localizer, clear departure. Heading 210, 3.5 till established, cleared ILS runway 24, helicopter 2 Kilo Tango. Just do a quick run, he said. It'll be fun, he said. Aircraft calling VFR. Should be relaxing. Quick hop in nice weather. 10 and 3.5. Don't start descending yet. I was actually contemplating setting bad weather. You know, I looked for bad weather when I first fired up. Vandenberg was the only thing that had bad weather at the time. Um, to go practice some approaches, because I haven't shot approaches in a little while. Try approach on 126.7 with the request. Alright, here comes localizer. After Escon, descend uh, th actually 3300 for Escon. Number 173, Mike Pop, Roger. Approach to Kiltango, can you call Escon for us? We don't have a legal way of identifying it right now. Number 132, Kiltango, we'll do. Number 132, Kill Tanger, overhead, Ascon. Thanks, 2 Kill Tanger. Alright. 
So what I'm doing with the iPad is just for situational awareness. I can't legally use that for navigation like that. So. Okay, Number now one seven two Mike Palmer. Chronic Vegas Star one hundred point nine. Okay. Actually twenty. Yeah, twenty six hundred for one up. Number 572 Delta X, Delta If I had a second VOR, I could have uh, swapped it over. Uh, even with a single VOR, I could have swapped it over um, in the real helicopter, but I'm not suicidal enough to do that in the sim here. In fact, I don't think I'd be too wild about doing it in a helicopter for that matter. Number 173 life. Mike Papa, kind of uh, correction, Las Vegas Star, good evening. Wind 230 at 6, runway 25 left, good luck. Number 572, Delta X-ray. In theory, I'd ask him to identify 1UP as well, but he's pretty he's pretty busy, so... Alright, that was 1UP. Remember, 132 Kilo Tango, kind of Palomar Tower, 118.6, get it. 186, helicopter 2 Kilo Tango, thank you. Flip flop. And we don't have to look down, it's already been set. Okay, Sidru, 2300. And that'll be Glide Slope. In fact, we can now track the Glide Slope down anyway. Palmata, helicopter 132, Kilo Tango, ILS, runway 24. Helicopter 132, Kilo Tango, Palomar Tower, good evening, runway 24, clear to land, one variable at 5. Clear to land, runway 24, helicopter 2, Kilo Tango. Okay. Number 572, Delta X, Ray, Radar Contact, 21 miles west, 29 palms, VOR, the Palm Springs altimeter, 285. Oh my gosh, look at this PIO. Oh Denver, my goodness. Speed off that trick, confirmed destination airport is That is incredible. I was barely touching that stick. Thank you, sir. Hello. Just curious, what are the minimums? 527, there we go. May have been good to include that in the brief. Kind of moving a little fast here. Going to make a trade here. Collective's going to come out a little bit. Good luck with this configuration change during the descent. Slightly low. Alright, we're visual right now. <laughs> or not. <laughs> okay, here we go. Getting back on it. Low. Alright, fields in sight. Whew. So, in the helicopter, you don't pull collective and then, you know, shortly after, start pulling the cyclic back. You can get away with that in the fixed wing. You cannot get away with that in the helicopter. The nose just plummets when you drop that collective. That's what you were seeing with that PIO before. I'm sorry, that wasn't the cause of the PIO. That was me getting ridiculously low, is when I dropped that collective and it just dropped like a stone. But um, the PIO was something slightly different. Alright, we cleared land to four. Re trimming for the slow speed. Alright, that's hands off right there, still dropping a little bit. A little bit more aft cyclic trim, there we go. The rest I'll just do by hand, there's 60 knots over the numbers. Less collective. 40 knots. Adding collective. Adding left pedal. Okay, that's good enough right there. We don't really want to stop per se. Forward trip. Forward trip. Forward trip. Tango, where do you park? South ramp to Kill Tango. 132 Kill Tango, Roger. Can you make the left on Alpha 2 or you need to go through? Uh, we can make the next left. Helicopter 2 Kill Tango. 
132 Kilo Tango Roger, next left, join Alpha to Park, remain this frequency today. Left turn, Alpha to Park, with you, 2 Kilo Tango, thanks so much. Level 173 Mike Pop, exit right, high speed, cross 25, right short of Bravo, on kind of ground. Sir, can you repeat the instructions for 3 Mike Papa? Level 173 Mike Papa, exit right on the high speed, cross from my 25 right, hold short of taxiway Bravo, then contact ground. King, are you? Alpha 5, then Bravo, contact ground, and Bravo. That's cool, there's a separate ground controller on, that's why we're not hearing all the other stuff, I think. And he was nice enough to not make me contact ground, which is awesome. Doing this mostly for hover practice or taxi practice right now. Five gallons of fuel still left. Hey, I said, can you legally shoot this without DME? On gravel, the western gate area B. Uh, yeah, it's an ILS. Everyone send through my pop last place. Or localize a DME. You don't need um, uh, the DME the area of for the feet. final approach segment. Everyone send through my pop. Roger taxi park via Bravo 5. Charlie Gulf remains frequency. I 5 pass. Okay, that's a Bravo 5. Charlie Gulf remains in frequency for the 3 Mike Papa. Thank you, sir. Ah, that was interesting. I wasn't quite planning on shooting the ILS in this helicopter, so that was neat. Well, 